Look like a boy. But that's okay. Because it's Saturday. And Saturdays, you should have low expectations. It's one of those Saturdays. So, what am I doing, you may ask? I'm in the car again. I'm about to head to Hobby Lobby to get some clay. Because we're going to make chunky rings. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting some of these chunky rings for a lot while. Every time they come up on someone's story and I go to look at them to buy them, they're $70. Mm-hmm. And we don't have $70 to spend on a chunky ring. I think I could find them cheaper somewhere, but... And I've looked on Etsy. They do have some on Etsy, but Etsy's not always, like, super reliable. And I still don't even want to spend $10 on one. I'm just gonna make some for myself. And I'm really excited. I watched a couple of YouTube videos about this. I've seen some people make really cute rings. I really look like a boy. Nothing's helping this situation. Even if I pull the hair out... No? No. Yeah, let's go to Hobby Lobby. Made it to Hobby Lobby. style is always so tempting to me. Found the goods. This is perfect. Found every color. I'm gonna get Probably like, I wanna say like four colors. I'm so indecisive, it actually hurts. So many options. And I told myself I wanna go overboard, but. Hi guys, I'm back. I've secured the bag. I've gotten all the goods. And let's just say I came through successful. Here's my two blues, two pinks. You're probably thinking, Hannah, just get one of the colors. You don't have to have two pinks. How can you just decide on just one? That's my question. Anyways, I got a couple that were on sale. Yellow, cause how cute is that color? Fun little funky red one that has some like little sparkles in it. You can kind of tell there. Yep, there's the sparkles. Tools, did I need these? No, literally could have used a kitchen knife. This is a butter knife. I can use this to eat after this. Oh, it's got a little cool thing on the end. I mean, it's just, you know. I didn't need it. And then I got some glaze to put over the top after they come out. So that way they don't look crusty and they'll look smooth and shiny like my nose highlight. So I spent overall about $22. You look at these brands selling all these rings on Instagram, 80 bucks a pop for a ring. First off, who has $80 to spend on a clay ring? Not me, $80. This is $2, just saying. Think about it, the logistics behind that. They're making a profit off of you. Anyways, busted that case. Exposed. Why not buy your own clay and make a million? Know what I'm saying? I've got some ideas that I've seen off of like Instagram accounts, Pinterest, just from other YouTube videos too, really. There's like so many people making videos exactly like this one. I will be making some that you've probably seen already, but also making some that this old noggin right here came up with itself. It's some original thinking right here. So I'm gonna be going off of Expo marker. I mean, that's kind of like a ring diameter, right? And then maybe just like trying it on my finger. I don't know how this really works. Please excuse all the dust on my desk, thanks. I'm living for this color. This color is literally everything to me. So I've got them all unpackaged now. The real question is where to start. This is where my indecisiveness comes back into play. I'm really kind of concerned about what I'm gonna do with all of these now that they're all open and how to store them because there's no way I'm using all of this. So if you have any answers, please let me know. Okay, first I'm gonna go in with the ones that were the cheapest. Probably just make a couple basic rings just to test out how this is gonna play out, which they're all like kind of different brands. So I don't know if they're all gonna like feel different, form different, stuff like that. I feel like I'm cutting into a block of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. 
So no one told me how hard this was gonna be to like get them even. Okay, problem number one. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. Let's just say that. I just kind of molded this against this just to kind of make like a little funky design. Now, tell me how I get it off of there without destroying it. Is this something after there is okay, first one done. A little test run, a little funky thing. Also, little goes a long way. Little goes a long way. Now I have all of this that I gotta do something with. And look how much I have left. A giant block of cheddar cheese left. I'm gonna be making a lot of rings. I just realized this. This also kind of looks like cheese. This one's just crumbling to bits. And honestly, I'm losing patience and hope. Like, why does that look like popcorn? Like, I don't know what to do. Kind of got the yellow to work. Finally, I've gotten it, you know, to normal ring making shape. It's a little skinny one, little tie the knot one. And then this one, we don't really know about her, but I have an idea. We're gonna try the right. Female's a little harder, but honestly, it might be a little better quality of clay. This red one's seriously staining my hands. Cute little pink thing and this little heart. I'm trying to mend the two together. I mean, that's freaking adorable. If I start calling myself an artist after this, you know why. It's because of this masterpiece. I'm hitting a wall creatively and mentally. Everyone's gonna be asking where I got my rings and I'll be like, I made it. Guys, I'm just full of ideas. So I definitely forgot I was recording or making a video about all of this and I've made a bunch now. So let's just take a look. I made like the chunkier ones, some little ones. I kind of want to have like a little one for each. Hey guys, I tapped out. I'm done for this time. I have so much clay left. I guess I'll just put it, throw it in a Ziploc bag and hope that it works later on. I have literally made 35 rings. My back is killing me and my fingers are nasty and I've made a mess. Now I'm gonna go turn on the oven and wait for it to preheat and then pop these suckers in the oven and call it a night because I'm so tired. <laughs> So this is how all of my rings turned out. I put the glaze on them, let them sit for about 24 hours or so like you're supposed to. This one is like my absolute favorite. I just wrote on it with a Sharpie. It's so cute. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I might end up giving some to my friends or something or maybe make some more for my friends because I literally don't need this many rings. I'll never wear them all. I would say if I had to pick a favorite, it would be this one besides this one. I just think this one's really solid. It's not too chunky. I mean, I'm just in love with this color, that's all. And then also this red one. It's, I made it like skinnier on the sides, so that way it's not too hard to actually wear. I don't know, it's just a classic. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, follow. Also, rest in peace to this ring. It had a lot of potential, but I made it too thin and it cracked. Let me know which one's your favorite or what I should do next, maybe, or if you have any tips for me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.